And if you click Malware Wemo, they've got a live one. If you spot something in your inbox or on your social media feeds, you think it might be a scam, you think it might be fake news, my Verify Squad, we're going to check it out for you. Find me on Facebook or Twitter. Just type in my name, Adam Longo, or email me and the team, verify at WSA9.com. Now, your Verify homework. The team and I, well, we've been cranking out some pretty incredible stories this year, and we're going to highlight some of the best Verify segments of the year next week. But you got to vote on which were your favorite or which ones you want to see. Go to my Facebook page, Adam Longo TV. There's a poll pinned to the top of the page. Go ahead there and vote. Our top five countdown begins Monday, Christmas night at 11. So many good ones to pick from ads. All right, the U.S. Postal Service invited us to check out one of their facilities in Gaithersburg tonight, and we saw just what you'd expect. Workers busy as elves sorting holiday cards and packages. The bosses at the facility say these people and machines will handle more than a million pieces of mail each day during the holiday season. From here, it gets to a truck and to the carrier who brings it right to your door. If you haven't shipped your gifts just yet, it's okay, you got this. The Postal Service says tomorrow is the day they recommend that you ship items by priority mail. That gets them to their destination by December 25th. And speaking of shipping, the Give Hope team here at WUSA 9 was busy today. Our lobby looked like Santa's workshop as we unboxed and sorted and wrapped more than a thousand toys donated by you. All of them will end up with children who will spend the holidays in the hospital. On behalf of our partners at Children's National and all of us here at WUSA 9, we are so grateful for your generosity. And I'll be at Children's National tomorrow helping to give out some of those toys, so that should be fun. Once again, our viewers came through. They yeah. always do. They do. They Can't do. wait to see the look on everyone's face I there know, tomorrow. It's going to be so great. Happens. How about the looks of the faces of the younglings on Christmas morning? Like when this they face? Wake up, or this the young, face? Like this face? And they throw open the <laughs> yeah. blinds, and there it is. Oh, Here's the thing. Old Flaky. Old Flaky. New information, <laughs> uh, a couple of runs since we last uh, spoke, and I'm less excited. It's going to be cold on Christmas Day. Maybe a flake. We'll see. So you're saying uh, there's no a, longer a chance? Oh, it's a chance. Well, we only had a chance for flakes. We didn't have a chance for white Christmas. We had a chance for flakes. We have less it's, of a chance I'm of flakes. I'm sorry. You this are rebuilling is, this thing. Yeah. yeah. We're, We're going to have to go back and pull mm -hmm. the tape. No. I, I, oh, here's what I've done. I went snow showers at 5 and 6 p.m. I've now added flurries. I never said it was going to be a white Christmas. In fact, I defined a white Christmas and said, we weren't going to have it because that's an uh, inch or more. It's not going to happen. No. But it's going to be cold. Build a fire and get in your spirit. We'll see. It's going to change again. It's still six days out. Here's a look at the three degree guarantee. Uh, we were okay today. Not a bullseye, but pretty good. Went for a high of 60 and we were 62. That's pretty good. We're going to go for a high tomorrow of 53. And that's cooler, but still um, above average. It's still 50 right now. Two points up for 30s. Winds out of the south at six. So we're not going to go. No one's going to go below freezing uh, tonight. In fact, bus stop temps 36 to 46. I mean, chilly, but you know, nothing crazy cold. Cooler tomorrow, and then we're going to call Thursday chilly. We'll hold in the 40s on Thursday, but then 50s on Friday, 60s on Saturday, maybe even some upper 60s on Saturday. May have to pay the piper, so to speak, some showers on Saturday with the warm air, and then snow showers or flurries still possible on Christmas Day. It was never going to be a nor'easter, never going to be a storm. I tried to emphasize that. Apparently, they didn't listen. They don't listen to me. All right, 6 o'clock in the morning, some clouds. Temps in the 40s, 42 in Gaithersburg, 47 downtown, so not that cold to start. By 9 a.m., we haven't really moved temperature-wise. We're still 45 in Bowie and 44 in Bethesda. By 1 o'clock, clouds sink to the south. Now we're 50 downtown, 43 in Cumberland, 44 in Romney. So cooler tomorrow, but still above average. And then we get into tomorrow evening, clear out pretty nicely. Colder tomorrow night. So by evening, upper 30s, low 40s, and then by about this time tomorrow night, we're going to see some temps around freezing already. 32 in Frederick, 39 downtown, 33 in Manassas. And actually, we're going to see some 20s tomorrow in the Burbs and low to mid 30s downtown. So on the day planner, temps in the 40s, they don't move much. We'll be near 50 uh, by 1 o'clock, increasing sunshine, winds in check. Chilly on Thursday, 47, and then milder again Friday. Clouds come in, but 58. Showers Friday night, showers on Saturday, 69 on Saturday. And then we're going to keep it dry for the game. Don't pay attention to that 53. It's a midnight temp. Dress for the 40s. Arctic air begins to spill over the mountains. And then, yes, some snow showers or flurries on Monday, 38, and just cold on Tuesday. All right, coming up on sports.